Hi everyone, Daniel here, and today I'll be doing something a little different. I'm going to try to do some tech surgery. I'm going to attempt to put the Vive Deluxe audio strap onto my HP Windows Mixed Reality headset. So if you watched my original video on this headset, you'll know that one of the only major downsides to it was the comfort. Uh, for some reason, the design of the Halo head strap isn't like other Halo head strap VR headsets and just the angle of this doesn't allow you to get it to cut the back of your head properly. So it's not a very comfortable headset. So I'm going to attempt to alleviate that by strapping the HTC Vive Deluxe audio strap to it. Uh, so in order to do this, I have some 3D printed parts that I purchased uh, and I'm gonna try to do it with double-sided tape uh, and hopefully it goes well. Uh, I'm not gonna do what most people do. So if you go on Reddit on the WMR board, you'll see that a lot of people, uh, either their uh, head strap will break on their WMR headset or they'll just pry the halo off out of the hinge with like a screwdriver or something. Uh, is my understanding that this can be very easily removed by just taking out some screws. And as far as I know, please post in the comments uh, to correct me if I'm wrong or just post in the comments to confirm so that other people watching this video will know. As far as I know, this is possible to do, what I'm going to do, is possible to do on all of the launch Windows Mixed Reality headsets, except for maybe the Samsung Odyssey. As far as I know, the design on the Halo head strap of all launch Windows Mixed Reality headsets is, this, is similar enough where this process should be more or less the same for anyone that wants to do this. Again, except for the Samsung Odyssey because it has integrated audio that's not easily removable, so you do have to disassemble the entire headset to do something like this. But, like I said, I'm not going to pry this off. I'm going to try to remove it properly. I also do not believe you have to disassemble the entire headset. In order to do this, this is very quick. You remove a sticker, remove four screws, and the head strap should come right off. Um, but yeah, uh, enough rambling. Without further ado, let's get into the disassembly. All right, and here we go. Here are the 3D printed parts I have. Printed them in nylon. Uh, we got a base plate with an attachment point, and then the piece that's going to go on the end of the strap so that the top strap can attach to the headset. And then we have the two side pieces for the headset to snap into. And then I have some double-sided tape I'm using this Gorilla double-sided tape. I've had good luck with Gorilla tape in the past, so that's why I'm using this tape. Uh, I have some markings on the side so that uh, when I attach the 3D printed parts, they're in relatively the same point. Uh, I went about a half an inch, no, a quarter of an inch in from the side, and then I think an uh, inch and an eighth down uh, to the center. All right, first uh, we're gonna have to take off this clip that the cable is routed to. You just need a flathead screwdriver to pop it off, comes right off. All right, and so uh, we get into the main disassembly portion here. We're gonna take off this sticker. It's on there pretty good, so I had some tweezers to start lifting it off the surface. And then once you get it going, it comes right off, and there are our screws. They are just uh, simple Phillips head screws, so you just need a small Phillips head screwdriver to take them out. Then once all the screws are out, you can go ahead and lift the head strap off and it should come right out. There are two outer portions to the hinge and then on the inside there are these metal pieces with springs that give the headset its tension and its ability to lock when you flip the headset up.
And if we look into the cavity there, you'll see that it's actually not exposed to the interior at all. So that's nice. We won't have to worry about covering that up. Now this base plate can't attach too closely because it won't clear the lip for the face pad. So we have to put it on the top frontmost portion of the headset. Uh, I tried cutting double-sided tape with an X-Acto knife, but that didn't quite work out, so I had to get the scissors. So the directions for the tape say to hold the tape firmly in place for about 60 seconds. Um, so just clearing off the area so that nothing is underneath the tape when I stick it on and then I just firmly press down on that piece uh, for a minute or two there to make sure it's fully in place. Next up, we'll attach the sides um, using my reference point to attach the topmost portion of the curved part on the piece. I chose the point that I did uh, to attach these because uh, even though they attach further up on the HTC Vive, uh, the further you go forward on the sides of this headset, uh, the less flat or the, the more curved the headset becomes. Um, so I put it, the pieces back far enough so that there was a flat enough area for uh, coverage of the double-sided tape but also not all the way back to the rear of the headset, uh, just to get it as close as possible to the original attachment uh, configuration of the HTC Vive. And so all of our pieces are taped down. All that's left to do is to attach the deluxe audio strap. Now, uh, it, it does take a, quite a bit of force to attach the sides. Uh, that's normal. The HTC Vive, if you put this on that, it also takes a fair amount of force to attach it to that. So don't be afraid to press uh, with a bit of force to snap that in place. Uh, on the HTC Vive, uh, I thought the cable would have to route over the top just like on the Vive, but there's actually a channel on the side, so that was a nice little surprise. And then the headphones plug right into the headphone jack on the HP. Um, I tried to put back the screws into the holes, uh, but they're just holes. The threading for the screws is actually on the Halo head strap itself. Uh, so. I just put back the sticker to cover up the holes so that there were nothing exposing the internals of the headset. Alright everyone, I'm back and good news, it looks like the surgery went well. Um, so I've had some, I, my initial first impressions of this are extremely positive. Uh, this is noticeably so much more comfortable as soon as I put it on. 
um, and then plenty of games, flailing around in Beat Saber, playing some sim racing for long periods of time, all of it uh, is just so much more enjoyable experience because now the headset is much more comfortable. So the double-sided tape seems to be holding up pretty well. I know most people go with 3M, but I've had good luck with Gorilla Tape in the past. So I'm hoping that holds up over time very well. I wanted it to be a fully reversible process just in case. So that's why I went with double-sided tape rather than super glue or like drilling, which I know some people have done. Um, removing the head strap was extremely easy like I thought it would be. Uh, I was a little worried that after removing the head strap that, that it would somehow be exposed to the internals in that cavity. I was happy to find out that's not the case. So I don't have to worry about covering that up or particles getting inside the headset at all. Um, there are a couple of small modifications I will have to make in the future. Um, the head strap, how I have it mounted because I needed a, a flat, completely flat, even surface for this front portion um, to attach to. I had to put that so far forward than it would be normally on the HTC Vive that the top head strap here is a little short even at its longest point. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is buy like some sort of like small like buckle, like a double loop Thing. I'll throw a picture on screen so you can visualize what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna have to get one of those um, and put a really short Velcro strap here um, so that I can then put this on the other side of that and give me a little more, more length to play with so that it's more comfortable. Um, it sits a little higher on the back of my headset than I would prefer, but even then, it's way more comfortable than the original head strap already. Also, uh, the face padding I have is uh, the VR cover generic for WMR headsets. Um, it's a little too thin for me now that the, now that the face, now that the, well, the, the headset itself is more pressed against my head than it was before with the Halo head strap. Um, it's not very comfortable. It's a little too thin for the way my face is shaped. So I'm gonna have to get something a little thicker. I anticipated this being a problem and I actually purchased the Samsung Odyssey Plus VR cover, but that's actually too thick. Um, so, so I'll have to find a VR cover that's somewhere in between. I believe they, they do have some that are a little bit thicker. So I'll have to get one of those and that's especially a problem because I have uh, prescription lens adapters in here. So that makes the lenses closer to my eyes. So those are actually like digging into the top of my skull. Um, so yeah, definitely gonna have to, to fix that. But even still with those small problems, way more comfortable, way, way more comfortable already. Um, I, I'm especially surprised. I didn't anticipate there being a cable routing here on the side because uh, the Vive, the Vive cables go across the top of the headset. Uh, but there's actually a channel over here on the side, which happened to be the same side that the cable is for this headset. So that was nice. Added an additional Velcro strap back here to make sure it goes down my back. Um, also the. Uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack just happened to be on the same side as the headset cable as well. So that worked out really nicely. Didn't have to run an extra cable around or anything. Um, field of view, it's still more or less the same. It is what it is, uh, unfortunately. That's really the only other major downside with this headset. It has a narrower field, field of view compared to other, especially modern headsets. Um, Audio sounds pretty okay. I was surprised that if you flip the headphones out, so they, um, you push them in against your ear, but then you can flip them out um, just to have more uh, world presence um, or to just uh, get in and out more easily, what have you. Uh, when they're flipped out, you really can't hear much. It sounds distant and tinny, um, so that's unfortunate because um, I don't particularly like wearing headphones a lot. Um, but the sound quality when they are pressed against your ears is pretty good, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, really happy. Would I recommend everyone do this? Maybe, caveats, yes with caveats. Um, so I was already kind of all in on this headset because 
I've already bought a bunch of different face pads and other accessories for it. Um, I already have the prescription lens adapters for this headset. Um, so buying those for another headset would be pretty pricey. Um, I don't have a 3D printer, so the 3D printed parts did cost me a good chunk of change, um, especially because I got the printed in nylon, so that they would be more tougher and then that they would play better with the snap sides. Um, and then of course you have to buy the deluxe audio strap itself, which, you know, in stock direct from HTC or Amazon is at least $100. Um, and then if it's sold out and you're chasing on eBay, that could be even more. So the fact that you can buy a Samsung Odyssey Plus these days for only $230, if you're looking to upgrade, probably just buy that if you aren't too committed to your headset already. Um, but if you were like me, you already have prescription lens adapters for your particular headset. Um, this is certainly an option. If you have a 3D printer, obviously you can print these parts um, and, and yourself and you don't have to pay a third party like I did. Um, if you're interested in these 3D printed parts, I'll post the Thingiverse links that I got them from in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. Uh, this, this went extremely well and I'm really happy that I did this. I was able to get my hands on a Vibe Deluxe Audio Strap uh, for MSRP. Didn't have to pay any crazy overpriced fees or markups on eBay. Um, got this done right before Half-Life Alex comes out, which I'm really looking forward to playing. Um, and yeah, if you would like to see more content like this uh, in the future, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know any particular VR content you'd like to see in the comments below. Uh, subscribe for more and thank you all for watching. Bye.